everybody, John Zodians here, and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Sundays. This week, we are going to be talking about the super full moon on the 19th, which will be under the sign of Virgo. So it'll be really interesting. We're also having a very Pisces rest of the month as well. Okay, so let's just let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, Pisces season starts on the 19th. Okay, but also the super full moon, which is also called the super snow moon. And it's called the snow moon because some Native American tribes, um, they follow more of the lunar calendar and to follow certain seasons. So I don't know too much about it. So I'm not going to act like I'm some fucking expert. I just know that it derives from there. So shout out to Native Americans for sharing that part of their culture with us. I mean, whether they shared it or not. I mean, I don't know. But, you know, we're, we're not going to get political. We're not going to get political. However, the full moon is also under the zodiac sign of Virgo. So we have a lot of Earth going on. We have a lot of Pisces going on. Let's just talk about that for a second or we'll get into that for for a while. But let's go through the rest of the, the planet. So Mercury is still in Pisces for the rest of the month. Capricorn is still or Venus is still in Capricorn. Saturn and Pluto are also still in Capricorn. And Mars is also in Taurus for the rest of this month. I mean, they're going to change, but we're just talking about February, right? Now, there are certain vibrations when it comes to water and earth. It's this, you know, sensibility and it's also the sensitivity, but it's also, you know, rationale. It's the logic, it's stability, it's security. So it's two different types of security that we're striving for this month. And it's putting a lot of pressure on people. I'm telling you, this year is not easy for people to grow, but it is the sign of growth for a lot of people. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Hopefully it does. I know that, you know, each year is a challenge, but this year in particular, particular is starting off really rough for a lot of people. A lot of that has to do with the amount of Capricorn in the air. (laughs) And with so much Pisces now, you're going to find a lot of people getting really emotional, really sensitive, especially when it comes to, you know, being a provider, being a, you know, a wife, um, a partner, whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves, bitch. (laughs) But there is that amount of pressure where, you know, we're not where we're supposed to be right now or we're not with the people that we're supposed to be with right now. And a lot of it is affecting our home life, right? It's very close to our hearts. And Pisces will have some people really, really taking it out on themselves or not being kind to themselves. Again, Pisces is immutable water sign with the double fish, one going up, one going down. And trying to find that balance in mind, heart, and soul is very difficult for Pisces. It's true. You can't say that it's not, okay? With that being said, we must find the time to really connect with our deeper selves, okay? This is the time where we are filling the cups of our deepest desires all the way till the end of the month. And you really have to figure out what those desires are. You know, what do you really want in hearts of all hearts, in the deep depth of your fucking soul, whether it's black or white, I don't fucking care. You know, what do you really, really, really want? What does your soul crave? You know, sit down and reflect with yourselves. I tell that to so many people, like you need to reflect, you need to meditate. And they don't understand the meaning of that. They don't understand the, you know, the benefits of doing that. So we're going to talk about that for just a little bit. Okay, bear with me. Now, meditating and It's just another way of self-reflection. It's giving you that inner peace. It's restoring faith in yourself. It's restoring all that good energy in yourself, especially if you're an empath, especially if you're very generous with your energy and you need to release negative energy, okay? If you absorb, if you tend to absorb other people's energies, meditation is an awesome way of relieving yourself of all of that, 
of which you've accumulated, right? Other people's bullshit, basically. It also helps you find balance in yourself mentally and emotionally, okay? We're drawing that energy back into ourselves and really trying to figure out with the Pisces and all of the earth signs in play, how do we find that balance and translate that into success, okay? How do we, let me repeat that, bitch. How do we find what we really desire and translate that into success? What makes a person successful? It's not a one size fits all plan. It's what do you believe you need to be successful, whether it's you, you know, having a really good relationship or, you know, having a really successful career, being a provider, working two jobs, you know, do you even want to work two jobs? What is the answer to that is something you can find in meditation and deep reflection. Okay. Turning to yourself for that answer. We are so I guess, divided in ourselves. We are so, let me explain. We're so used to people telling us what to do, how to feel, how to think, you know, that we tend to just look for answers somewhere else. When in all reality, you need to turn that energy inwards. You know what I mean? You need to really focus on you. And so many people have such a hard time doing that. It's amazing to me that people have such a hard time doing that, but it feel like honestly it's they're conditioned you know to think on somebody else's terms now this is the time the rest of this month where you really need to sit down with yourself and work on your own terms especially when it comes to internal strengths you know what i mean not we're not just talking about like you know your job and you hate your job and blah 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 we're not talking about that we're talking about you what do you want What will make you happy? Write these questions down and really ask yourself. Cry it out. Vent it out. This is the time under Mercury Pisces. And, you know, with the the sun transitioning into Pisces, the Pisces season, this is a really great time to really just translate how you feel into what success absolutely means for you. Okay, I know that's a lot to absorb right now, but next week won't be any different. <laughs> next week really won't be any different. And next week I'll be pulling some um, tarot cards, just some general tarot cards and, and try to get you guys on, um, I guess, a new kind of movement for next month or a new mental state for next month. Okay, now let's talk about how we can get to a place of compassion and love for ourselves. With Pisces in the sun and Pisces in Mercury, we have to try to start loving ourselves for who we are and what we're meant to do in this world. You know, Pisces is the landlord. This is how I see houses, okay? Pisces is the landlord of self-undoing, meaning they like to self-sabotage. They can sabotage relationships. They can sabotage, you know, their career. These are, this is a sign that really struggles with trying to find that inner balance because they have a soul calling, a soul purpose. All right. And now with it being in play, especially in Mercury and with the sun and working with all these earth signs, It's as if the universe is beckoning you to figure it the fuck out. Like, especially if you've been ignoring it, if you've been, you know, putting it aside and just putting other people before you, you know, you don't want to do that anymore. You really need to sit down and just refocus, realign and recharge yourself that you deserve it. You need to be kind and loving to yourself. All right. And we're going to break down the planets one by one. So Venus in Capricorn, Saturn, Pluto in Capricorn, Capricorn being a very disciplined, very logical and very, you know, determined zodiac sign. Capricorn being a cardinal earth sign. Okay. What this all really means is that we are striving basically for perfection in all aspects of our lives spiritually, physically, um, and lovingly as well, right? In relationships. We want the white picket fence in the house. We want all of it right now. And 
it is very draining for some people because people can be obsessed with whatever this success means to them. Now, Pisces is sweep, sweeping in and saying, you know, let's dial that back. Let's take off the pressure. Let's peel back, you know, the layers and really get to the why. Why are you striving for this stuff? Why do you do what you do? You know, maybe you've lost because there's so much earth. You've lost the meaning, the real depth of why you do everything. You know what I mean? And maybe you just need to take a break from all of this, the physical realm to dive deep into the spiritual realm and pull, you know, from the depths of your emotions. You know, you get what I'm saying? Now, Mars is in Taurus and Mars is, you know, influences our physical energy, our aggression, right? And Taurus is a fixed earth sign. So a fixed earth sign as Taurus means that you need to be patient. You know what I mean? You need to build on that foundation. They work really well with the Pisces and the Capricorn, but you need to build on that foundation and get really, I guess, sensual. <laughs> Remember their ruling planet is Venus. So it's all about loving what you do, planting the seeds because you love what you do. You know, it's putting your energy into something that you really love to do and really, you know, nourishing those needs, those desires. All right. So when you think of all of them really working together as a team versus individually, then you're going to see this beautiful combination of water and earth working to your advantage. But that starts with you really figuring out what your energies are and how they work together with the water and earth that is up in the air right now, right? In the universe. This is the energy happening right now. The more you fight something, the more intense it's gonna fucking be. You need to relax and, you know, settle your anxieties and really just <sighs> breathe, okay? Now, let's talk about the super snow moon, right? With the super snow moon, and I don't know if you guys follow full moons or not, but anytime we have a full moon or something powerful with the moon, moon influencing our emotions and our instincts, it's a really good time to really focus on redefining your intent, okay? People always say, you know, commit to an intent, but you're forever changing. We are complicated people. We're human, you know? We are always changing our intent. And it's always good to just refocus and realign. Just remember that. Refocus, realign, recharge. Refocus, realign, recharge. And always having it, like you could do it whenever. I don't really, I'm not really that type of person that says like, oh, well, you got to wait till a full moon to happen. You know what I mean? To make things happen. It only means that this is a powerful time where, you know, intent will be given more power, Right. But that power starts from you. Okay, so literally you could do it whenever the fuck you want. That's how I feel. Um, and some people will say otherwise, but I don't really care what those people say. <laughs> For me, it's like knowing who you are, knowing what you want in life, you will always have that intent in place. It's just reminding yourself. And doing it under a full moon will help because it's that extra oomph. You know what I mean? It's that extra power, that, that extra magic that you need. The extra intent will be lifted into the heavens and, you know, you, you can you just feel more empowered. Get what I'm saying? So it being under Virgo means a lot of things. OK, Virgo, a mutable earth sign is a people person, right? Virgo is the sign of the virgin, but also a very social zodiac sign, right? And I don't mean social as in it's it's kind of more aligned with Aquarius where they're more of a humanitarian. This is a sign of service, okay? But doing it logically, doing it within reason, right? If you work with a lot of people, this is the time where, you know, you have to, I guess, rearrange how you work with people so that you're not just benefiting them. You're also benefiting yourself. You're benefiting humanity. Okay. You're benefiting the group. You're working together with humanity to make lives better because Virgos are often seen as like the saints of people, right? They're very diplomatic. So remember that when going into, I guess, your, your rituals for full moon, putting, adding to your intent is always good as well. Like adding what you want to do for yourself and 
how that will help other people. Do you get what I'm saying? So you're not just being selfish with your intent. Nobody will feel good if they're always selfish, but it's more of building that confidence, building that light and attraction in ourselves so that we can feel good about helping people. You get what I'm saying? If you don't feel good about helping people, then you know that that has something to do with you. You have too much dark energy in there. You need to balance it with light energy. And my Instagram live today will kind of go over that. So my Instagram lives are at 1130, which which is after I post this shit. <laughs> so you might want to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. That's a little advertisement for you. OK, don't kill me. OK, so back to what I was saying Really use the water and earth energy out there to balance your home and to balance your career, to really figure out the why, to really figure out, you know, how long can you keep doing this to yourself or torturing yourself or pleasing yourself? You know what I'm saying? What can you cut out? What is within reason for you? Don't be too generous with your energy. Remember to hold some back and reserve some good energy for yourself. And that is really all I have to say before I go on this long ass fucking rant because I can go on forever, bitch. I can go on forever. If you guys want to book a spiritual session with me, I am now also offering private mentoring for people. It's a 90 minute session where we can realign and readjust and, you know, get you back on track. Um, 90 minutes is a long time, bitch. It's enough time to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of the year. So hit me up on Zodians.com and you can book it there online. Easy peasy. Talk to you guys next week. Love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.